welcome to another episode of Euro Truck Scandinavia DLC. Today, as you can see, we're driving a Scania, and we're also going to visit the Scania factory. We're taking a short journey with uh, some trailer from the factory. So, yeah, let's get right into it. So, as you can see, this is a mod, and I, th I believe it is the Scania R730 version three so far it's very good, I think it's got about 60 dots that you can customise the truck with so it's heavily customisable, you can see um, by the uh, mirror at the front you've got the camera facing down so you got, and you've also got the GPS when I turn the truck on you've got the all the um, auto passes etc on the dash you've got loads of modes but I like to keep it on this one because it's got all the fuel information and the speedo and yeah so let's uh, leave the guard and let's get right into it let's put the sat nav on so what I've got planned is a um, short journey from here in Stockholm to Uppsala in probably the, I think it's the most northern parts no the most west eastern part sorry of the map you can go in but so far I've been very impressed by the Scania mod it works great with 117 loads of features so I may continue using this mod videos please stop there please stop them. thank you and yeah so he was a driving a Mercedes there and in not um, not so long we'll be driving the new Mercedes Actros it should be coming in about three weeks at the most I've heard so I'm looking forward to that Yeah, so um, yesterday, or two days ago, or a long time ago, it depends when you're watching this, um, I uploaded a video with the Volvo factory on Scandinavia, and so I uploaded it, I think it's 2am it went live or something like that, and by about 12 hours it had already got 20 views. To you this might not sound much, but to someone who gets on average about 30 views after a couple of months, this was amazing. So thank you if you watch that video and if you're watching this one. So thank you for the support and watching it. I'm very grateful of that. I mean I was just checking my phone every hour. Like the views were going up like every three oh, sorry, let me go then. Can you let me go? Thank you. So every hour, say, um, it's going up by about three views, and I was just amazed. So it's just like um, the one, 112 update all over again. Yeah, so here we are in Soda Tali, home of Scania, where they hold the um, young European truck driver. And if you've seen pictures on the SCS blog, you see this is just as how it is in real life. With the uh, chassis factory, the chassis porton. Oops, I made this crash into a bush. But I'm too busy looking at the factory. Oh, let me out. Thank you, Ivico. You can let me out. You can let me out. Thank you. So it's really well modelled. Just look at all these trucks ready to drive the thousands of miles all over the world. But none of them as good as this one. It's metallic blue. Scan. The only thing that I don't like about this mod is the um, 
number plates. See, you can't have the world of trucks number plates that you set up online. You have to have these pre-fitted ones, but I'm not too bothered. That's only a minor detail. We've also got the uh, tag lift. I think this is like a lowered chassis as well, so it makes it look a bit more sleek. So, yeah, we have arrived. And my job has gone. Just one second. And I've got the job back. I just so did a previous save. What it was was the um, job ran out of uh, time, I didn't get, get there in time. I should have paid more attention, but at least we got it now. So let's attach it and get on the road. There we go. So what are we carrying? We're taking 22 tons of empty pallets to Uppsala GNT. We've got five hours to get there and we're going to get paid uh, almost five grand for this so that's pretty good. Let's go. So I'll quickly grab a quick photo for the video thumbnail and we'll get going. Oh, look at that. It looks like a Hollywood sign, but we scan you. That's pretty cool. So let's pick a moment to get the thumbnail. I'm going to say about here. So you'll see that when you click on the video. Oh, I can't see. Uh, I think it's coming that way. Right, let's go. So we've only got 73 miles to do, which is not too bad. Flashing to go. into a bush again. And stop. Yeah, so sorry about the uh, lag. I'm currently doing 8 FPS, which is not very good. It's probably because something with this computer, when you turn the lights on in the game, we've got indicators and stuff on, and it causes lag for some reason I don't understand. I'm also using fraps, that doesn't help. I'm just using the front camera now, if you can see it, to edge my way forward. Pretty cool. And you've got the other mirror up there. Pretty cool. Thank you, Golf. I may have just gone the wrong way. Oh dear. There you go. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that at all. You didn't see that, say so yeah, You didn't see it. Saw so nothing there. I think that bush has damaged my truck. Oh dear. Come on. Okay, thank you, transit. There we go. On the proper road. 
Yeah, so with this gearbox, it's only got nine gears, but I haven't really had the chance to try out all the gearboxes. So I presume there is one that you can get for um, 12 gears with the uh, heat shifter, the G27 I'm still using. the book. You'll know that from the previous episode if you watched it. Turn on to the motorway. Oh, in fact, what, what is the motorway called in Sweden? Not quite sure, because America it's the highway. Germany it's the autobahn, so anybody knows, please see write in the comments. Was for another thing I talked about in the previous episode about time lapses or sped up videos on for Eurotruck on the channel, and that's something I really would like to get into with some like background music or something. So if you'd like to uh, um, see some of that, please do tell me, because then it's easier for me to record as well. I don't have to do the commentary and then mess around with the micro microphone volumes. When I'm setting the uh, video up, so I'll give that a go sometime. And if you like it, I'll keep with it. And if you don't, we'll just carry on with this commentary on the rumble strips. Am I turning off here? Yes, I am. It's quite useful though, from a, because it's right in your you know, eyesight, you can see everything. Turning a bit sharp. Can't wait until we um, can try the auto pass on the toll booths as well. Revving the engine a bit. Wow, look at that, wow. That is amazing. Worthy of a dodgy driving, worthy of a yes, a screenshot. Man. So it's this right spot, and let's have a quick screeny. This may also be a thumbnail, I am not sure yet. It wasn't for that lamppost. Suppose I can Photoshop that out. There we go, that's a shot. Yes, Steel City is really, really impressive. Massive step up from the um, usual SES work. Come on, Jaguar. Come on, mate. Okay then. Oh, through the tunnel, watch the FPS go. So it's currently half ten. And get whoa, what's that? It's like a massive T. Some kind of real weird office buildings or hotel, I don't know. If any of you know, please do tell me. So I'd like to find out these uh, landmarks. Like, um, I really want to go down to Malmo, where the Turning Torso is, because I did some of that work, some work on that building, so... That'd be quite cool to go and see. Checking out all the uh, features. That's the wipers. Uh, oh. Oh, this this truck doesn't have an intermediate wiper mode. Let's see exhaust brake.
Well, here we are. It's a nice shot. Is that like a cathedral over there? Spires. Very nice. Yes, we have arrived. Nice short trip in the uh, Scania. We may use the Scania in the next video. If you want to see this truck again, please do tell me. Oops, that's not the microphone. It's a bit bumpy down here. So, a lot of things have gone wrong this episode. Was it my trailer disappeared? Went the wrong way? Oh dear. Oh, look at that over there. It's that massive water tower. And that was my phone. Uppsala discovered. It's pretty good. Oh, I'm in the wrong way. Ica. Not Ikea. Quick, make the lights. There we go, there's Ikea. Pretty nice. What's this building up on the hill? Is that like some kind of prison? Sure. Might be a hotel. Or are there? I don't know. Very interesting though. It's a step up from uh, the previous ones. Like when they released Venice and Graz and stuff, if you remember, down near Italy. Um, yeah, those are all just like clones. But now, let's look at the detail of all the um, packaging and stuff. It's amazing what they can achieve in six months. And here we are. GNT. Yeah. There's a man cleaning the windows. Didn't make him jump. There's a rusty fence. Bad driver hit the wall. Let's see if we can do this some one attempt, because if you remember from the last episode it took two tries to get it to light up. Let's put this in reverse. I believe that hasn't worked. Before they had advertised um, the other truck and Scania truck, but now they're advertising the American truck. Pretty cool. Massive field over that. Graffiti. 
park so oh, it's going to park up at the hotel once we've uh, repaired it try not to wipe the front again let me out thank you oops Checking my microphone was actually on. Oh, 50% off and all food. Want to get some good good deals? Recommend you go there. <laughs> yeah, so at like um, those drop ups at the uh, supermarket places, it'd be good to see like cars parking up, like people coming out with trolleys and baskets and with food. That'd be just really good. But that'd be quite a lot of work. Sorry! Quite quite a lot of work to implement that into the game, I think. Yes, yeah, so what have we averaged on the fuel? Sixty-eight point three liters every hundred miles, which is pretty good for a V8 five hundred and sixty horsepower truck. Very nice, this hotel. So let's park up here until the next video. So thanks for watching. Please do give it a like if you got to the second part. And just thanks for the support, really, because this last day has been amazing with the amount of views that I've got. It's literally 12 hours, so. Yeah, so thank you for watching. This is Simulators ST, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.